officer at Duke right. University Hospital. Dr. Pickett, as always, very good to see you. Thanks for your time. I'll get right to it. First up, what do we know so far about the transmission of this highly contagious Delta variant outdoors? Yeah. Well, outdoors is certainly safer than indoors. More uh, space to space out and then a bit more free flow of air. But we know that the amount of virus that people with the Delta variant had is extraordinary high. So that we do continue to encourage people to mask if they're going to be very close together and a larger crowd, et cetera, um, to keep themselves really safe. Good points Good there. Point Let's talk there. about Let's the Delta talk. variant with children. I know that uh, we are seeing an uptick in cases with kids as they head back to the classroom and just start moving around more. Is the Delta variant also more contagious for children? It is absolutely more contagious. And we know that those younger than 12 are all unvaccinated. So it becomes even more important for them to wear their masks and to practice uh, good hand hygiene and things to keep our little ones as safe as possible, especially as they head back to school soon. Yeah, and yeah, we learned we so, learned much, so uh, much throughout, throughout, this, throughout pandemic, this pandemic, so we'll keep practicing that. Now, as schools now, as do well, return, should parents be concerned about transmission in the classroom? It's something they should think about and they should teach their children to be safe as we all teach our kids to wash their hands at school. Now they should be teaching them to wear a mask at school too. Um, because really they are very unprotected and we know that this variant is, is really prevalent in our area. And so to keep our children as safe as possible, um, it would be best for them to mask when they're inside in a classroom and for schools to have outdoor activities as often as possible. Good guidance Good there. Guidance now there. let's now talk let's about talk guidance, guidance um, for uh, people for who received the Johnson & Johnson vaccine uh, rather than the Pfizer or the Moderna because we hear so much now about the possibility of a third booster from Pfizer. I know it's being tested right now, especially for, for immunocompromised folks. What guidance do you have for people who received the Johnson & Johnson? Because we really don't hear a lot of research about how it's faring with this Delta variant. So far, um, there appears to be a good protection, but I think we're all eager to know about a booster shot, no matter what vaccine that you received. Um, and checking with our highest level experts here at Duke, it sounds like there's a great deal of conversation even at the national level. And if folks will stay tuned, very soon there should be information about the timing and availability of booster shots. And I know we'll be very excited to get them here. Dr. Lisa Pickett, Chief Medical Officer at Duke University Hospital. As always, thanks for your time. Stay well.